the third podcast. To my left, I have Greg Rafanos, local artist, illustrator, restaurant installations, comic books. Uh, comic books, yes. And uh, also the, well, the, the Gulu Gulu Cafe that is, yes. is amazing. We, eight months, we took you to do that installation in the... The hallway? The, the hallway and the... Um, yeah, it took yeah. me... Well, it took me a couple months, and then I would take a couple months off, yeah. and then I'd come back in. It was, I think, it was over a course of two okay. years. Okay. So yeah. he pretty much just, you know, let me come and go. It was nice. Awesome. That's like it, so ideal. Makes huh? me feel better about a project I'm working on right yeah, now. Yeah, it was. It was good because I could go in, yeah. do it, and then when I didn't feel like doing it, mm -hmm. I would do it, and I would go in. That's awesome. It, what a and then he would call and ask, "Oh, can you have this?" And I would go in. Perfect. And do it. Perfect. And at night. Interesting people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Became the bathroom right. attendant. Not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and to my right oh my is oh, the that was fun. Dr. Spaceman, Brian uh, Donnelly. That's Dr. Nemo Spaceman. Nemo? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Do you have any middle name? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no. It's no, Dr. Nemo Spaceman, Prometheus of Vampires, musician, magician, metaphysician, Herald of the Mythic Monkey Bunny, Psychonaut, and Super Clown. Oh. Yes. But that's, Thank you yeah, for but that's, the introduction. That's, yeah, that's yeah. that. Because uh, I was. And I just have Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. simple. Yeah, and you yeah. spell it G R G G, don't you? You even take I do. the G. I take the G. Oh, I, yeah, just yeah. two G's because I felt like three G's were a bit, just a bit much. You know, like I didn't want to e. showboat. You know, yeah. so <laughs> makes sense. And uh, Brian, you're a, also you're an artist, muralist. And, oh, muralist is and, new. Yeah. Uh, okay. M M C puppeteer and um, well, your friend. Yep, Captain uh, Butterbeard. Just uh, I was invited. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm here too for extra added, I don't know, words, I guess. Uh -huh. yeah. Welcome, Captain Butterbeard. Thank you. And Dr. Spaceman, yeah. Spaceman, That's just a, yeah. What, what was the middle name again? Nemo. Nemo. Nobody. Excuse Nobody. Me. Nemo is what, yeah, that's what oh. Ulysses uh, said to the uh, Cyclops when they asked him his name. Okay. What's your name? And he said, Nemo, so that when he poked the eye out of the Cyclops, uh, all he could say is that Nemo is killing me. Nobody is killing me. And all the other giants n didn't show up because they thought it was crazy. Yeah. Now, speaking of, of giants, Greg, I read a little bit of your bio on your, uh, yes. on, online. Right. And um, your, your house is guarded by giants? Is that what was it? Uh, Four. Four giants from yeah. from Maine. Yeah, metaphysical Me giants. Yeah, and so yeah. Like, from Maine, no doubt. Yeah. Right, right. And not New Hampshire or like local. Yeah, they're not local. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. well, well no, I mean, no, they're, no. they're local for giants. I mean, if you got to go, if you're gonna get close to get some giants, you're gonna go to you have to go to Maine to get the good ones. Right, <laughs> and now Beverly, but they're they're they've right. been here for quite a long time. They've oh. been here for about a hundred in eleven years. 111 well, years from, they're more but, local but than from I Maine. From Beverly. Oh. Yes, but yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Not to be confused with the New York Giants. Not at all. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we don't even, no, we won't even discuss that. <laughs> okay. <We won't>. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, so your, uh, your, your mother's name is uh, Organa? Is that what, the correct What kind or, of research is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like Princess Leia is your mom? No, it's, um, yeah, was it Organa? Uh, Organa? Yeah, 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 because my, my mom. Would uh, she was known as uh, the organ lady or organa um, because she would. This is before I was born, and maybe a little bit when I was younger. I can't remember, but uh, she would she would sort of sit in an, in in an elongated room while playing a, a sort of a miniature organ. Huh. Yeah, one of those air organs. Those no, I think it was a plug-in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the ones that, that, that like, they make that noise and it, like, it fills well, up it with heats air. Up. I, you know, I don't know. It was electric, those, so, was like a small yeah. one? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And your father was Alphabet? Alphabet yeah. Man, yeah, yeah Alphabet yeah. Man. So you're yeah. the man of letters? Well, he would just sort of stumble over his words. Okay. Yeah. Um, and invent new ones, nice. too. So he was known. Yeah, I think he... Uh, so, so Coddle, was Coddle Wample? Coddle Wample. Cuddy Wump. Cuddy Wump. Yeah, Cuddy Wump. Was that one of his inventions, or that? Oh yeah, he came. Yeah, he came up with that word. I think. Yeah, as the story goes, like I, you know, 
I, I, I'm relying on stories that have been yeah. told and passed down. Right, right. Because yeah. yeah. you have like a, a, a dreamlike quality to your work. I, I, Say, yes. Hey, right? Yeah. So people like have un- have mentioned unconscious. or nightmare actually, like a nightmare <laughs> quality. So the unconscious becoming conscious on on the yeah, kind of like a psychoatomicism. <laughs> okay. Like a psychoatomicism. Like, you yeah. don't want to don't want to nail it down to that though. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, you don't because box, like we know all those psychoatomatons are going to come out of the woodwork and they're going to hold you to that. They're they get a like, they get a bad rap. <laughs> they get a bad rap, but yes, yeah. kind of a psychic a, automatism way of so it's sort of like a it's a, a anthropomorphic morphic your your work. Would you call um, I do or? use a lot of like animals that are yeah. anthropomorphic. Like, yeah, like foxes, foxes, uh, uh, cows. Co- oh, wow. I don't know. Have I done a cow? Well, I think I've seen Maybe a I have cow, have I? Uh, frogs. You frogs. Done a cow. You've got to have done a cow. No, you know what? I don't know. Monkeys? Oh, an ox. An monkeys. Ox. Monkeys are kind of already kind of anthropomorphic horses. in a way. Yeah. yeah. Horses. Yeah. I don't know if I've done a horse. I, I should do a horse. Alligator. I think I've seen an alligator. Like oh, horse. alligators. Yeah. yeah, alligators are always fun. Dogs. 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 Lots of rabbits. Lots of rabbits. Yeah, yeah lots of rabbits. Yeah. Well, rabbits. There's one, you know, that they say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. They're very prolific. Yep. Yeah, um, seriously. Yes. Yeah. Rabbits do, yeah. Rabbits R- often Rabbits show do! Up. Yeah. Huss and Pfeffer. And we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll put up for the viewer some, some, uh, oh. some of your work. Yes. Right? yes. Sure. Both, both of you. Yep. yep. And Brian. Me. Yes. Now, you went to the Har- Hartford uh, Art School? For Hartford Art School. Yes, huh? I did. Yep. Hartford, Connecticut. And, yep. And how did how, how do you get, because I know you're from the South Shore, as as I am. Yes. Oh, really? How did Not you, was it a prisoner exchange uh, for like North Shore, South Shore, like on, on the Tobin Bridge oh, or kind of thing? Oh, yeah, it was That's a... That's how I got here. Yeah, I, I was divorced uh, and, I, and I was aimless mm-hmm. and, and someone expressed interest on the North Shore mm-hmm. and I, I followed uh, that up here mm-hmm. uh, and then they, they lost interest uh, and then I was transplanted. I was transplanted nice. here, and a uh, wonderful place to be. I live in Salem right now. Right. Not a wonderful place to be at this time. Right in the down, downtown Salem. Downtown Salem, right nice. downtown. Mm-hmm. That's where I live, and I've lived there for about 20 years or more. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what's it like um, doing art in Salem as opposed to is there a oh, different there's no. I don't process. think I've ever well, done I art in Beverly. I can't yep. say ever. I can't say that I've yep. ever done art in Beverly, right. except for trash my small. extra art. Yeah. yeah. See, because when yeah. when we talk art, it gets a little vague with me. You know. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, like yeah. So I've done art okay. in Beverly, yeah. and um, it's more free form. Though that that being said, I just got a gig yeah. playing saxophone for an outdoor block party where the mayor was yeah. there, and I got cool. to play whatever I wanted, and it sounded yeah. beautiful, and it was a great time. And, and this was in Beverly? This was, what, in, no, this was in Salem, oh, okay. which yeah. is yeah, yeah. rare for me yeah, to, yeah. to go like that. There's usually yeah. more hoops you got to jump through when you sure. work in Salem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, I don't think I've ever... I think I might have had some work in a coffee shop a long time ago in Beverly. In Beverly. Um, yeah. But Salem has been most of what I did. I started, had a couple stuff in Gloucester, um, Northampton, uh, New York, mm-hmm. uh, but, but locally Salem. Yeah, and that's yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're outside of Salem. Salem doesn't like to hire people inside Salem. It likes to <laughs> hire outside artists and, and bring them the in. Same because like, well, too, I, look be. it, I know the real artists. Yeah. Let's bring them, forget these locals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how it and goes. That's, right. Last I saw you was at the Cabot. The cabin. Yeah, you got um, me, you you got me the gig. Hey, you got that me was the awesome. gig. Yeah, Green you, Beverly. Yeah, and I I did some acting, which I like to do. Yeah. Uh, it was it was a strange gig because it was like a main character that had no lines yet. Mm-hmm. So I had to make up the lines, which nice. I'm okay with because yeah, yeah, I yeah. like improv. That's, improv yeah, sure, is one of my sure. favorite things. Yeah. So it was fun. It was really fun. But they were like, "I'm really sorry. Uh, we have this th- these." Uh, this character, but there's no lines. I was like, okay. 
So I thought, like, it could have been anyone, but then I realized it was made for me, and I made up this character, and it was good. It was yeah. a good It was a good time. It was, uh, like, was it Trash Man or something like that? Uh, well, uh, n- well yeah. the deal was, it was a recycling, a uh, 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 sort of, what do they call that, uh, uh, where it's a public service announcement? So I guess mm-hmm. this show was, like, a giant public service announcement sure. for Beverly. Sort of active, to man. Yeah, to promote recycling and to yeah. actually show how to do it, which yeah, is yeah, yeah. really important yeah. for that kind of thing right, because yeah. people don't know why they're throwing things sure. into certain bins. Yeah. Nice to be reminded, too. Yeah, and yeah. it was a great time because it was done at the Cabot and they ha- it was, yeah, there was Cabot's food. Uh, all the, and There was a question and answer afterwards. Right, right. And they got my man Tony Toledo to be the oh, trash yeah, monster. Tony, yeah, he was up there, and he's yeah. always that a wacky great. good time. Tony's great. Yeah, he's, and... He's, uh, he's a treasure. And then... Uh, but for me, my character was a character who uh, didn't didn't know how to recycle. Uh, he he knew that he had to get rid of this stuff, but he didn't know. And right, so uh, I made it like right. him yelling up to his wife Martha, "I'm just gonna oh, take yeah, out yeah, the trash." Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a thing, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sort of a you know. So yeah. speaking of trash, you know. uh, for the viewer, it's a theme. I did a. Trash Finders Ball, which was a yeah. fundraising event. And, Many uh, years of good times. Tr- trash pickers would bring their most prized trash find to the ball for judging. Yes. Essentially. And Brian was the MC. Yeah. And his band, The Found Objects, fun, played. Yeah. Fun time. And, and, uh, and Greg helped oh, out yeah. as well. Oh, look at that right. shirt. Sure. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Blast in the past. Whoa. Huh? Yeah. It's an awesome trash uh, find. Treasured it's a uh, relic. item in our family. And also, Greg uh, made this wonderful... Is oh, that yeah. one of the, this is yep. so cool. Look at that. It should be framed for us. Yeah, but instead you just let it get ripped. That's, <laughs> not, yeah, that's all right. I, that's trash. I, uh, yeah. What there do you, you want? Right. Yeah, what do you want? I, uh, you want it to look I might like have it. Other, other copies of it. Yeah. And that's, of course, in front of the uh, Wrinkle it up. Garage Come on. <laughs> with yeah. so a lot in, of Sean's the theme trash finds. Um, Who's? A lot of Sean's trash finds in there. I like, oh, to, yeah. uh, I like to, you know, our guests give them a recent trash find. Oh, oh. fantastic! Just I as, love, a, yeah. as a thank you, so and, it's still and, uh, going. Being the sharing wheel uh, underneath to share, right? So oh, this is fantastic. Should I open it? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see that, that again. Let's see that. That was again. a nice. Yeah, yeah that nice was a, That was a good. That's a good pop. Oh, yeah, that was, pop. Second one wasn't as good. Oh wow! Yep. There we go. Oh, Toad. Yeah, Wind in the Willows is probably one of my favorite oh, awesome. books. Yeah. Awesome. The Disney awesome. version's a little bit different. Yeah, I don't like it. They, yeah, they, get, yeah, they take yeah, Pan out of it. Right, yes. Pan is like Which a is major important. aspect uh, uh, of yeah. Yeah. Wind in the Willows. Portly, yeah. yeah. Where did yeah. I find that? Found on Bartlett Street. Just, uh, so that's just cool. about that's cool. two weeks say. That's nice. You just found But I do remember going to Wind in Man, you're a master at this trash mine. Oh, God. This is great. This will be going in my studio. Yeah. This okay. Is, this is for you. I won't look yet. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, Shay! Dun, 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 dun. Dude. Okay. So let me tell you a story. So I'm, 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 I'm working out on a oh, uh, art piece yeah. right now out in front of the YMCA. It's I got myself involved in this situation. And I probably shouldn't have done it um, because it's 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 I'm very good yeah. at doing art publicly, but not the physical drawing art that's stuff mm-hmm. i keep to myself mm-hmm. in my home where nobody's around with my music and all yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. so being public and doing that yeah. is like a little stressful for putting me. yourself out there so yeah. i'm doing that uh and the problem is i'm doing it downtown salem where everybody knows me because i've run the open mic at google right, for like right. 20 years or whatever it's been with that mm-hmm. and so i'm out there and i'm trying to keep to myself and paint Every ten minutes, someone's poking me on the shoulder. You understand yes. this? We've yep. talked about this. Yep. That's yep. what yep. you're very you know, you know about this thing. I do. Well, I'm uh, you know this guy pokes me on the back, and it's this guy. His name is Raphael, and he yeah. is from. Uh, I'm gonna get it wrong. Where he's from? He's from one of the islands in like just a, above you know South America. You know he's yep. got, and yeah. he's and years he's like eighty something years old, and okay. he's and he's. Uh, he left when he was a kid uh, because of the dictator. Oh. Uh, you know. Was he and, involved? Oh. 
Well, he, he's got a tattoo of Che Guevara on his arm yeah, uh, that okay. he got when he was yeah. like when he was like seventy eight. You know, and and like okay. this dude is in, incredible. He's an amazing because he he went to an island where they only spoke English, and then the uh, a Greek uh, sailors came and took him to America, uh-huh. and yeah. and it's just a story that he has is yeah. just completely crazy because yeah. like he, the the dictator was going to kill him. So so he. This is going on while you're trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he showed girl, me. He showed right? me his yeah. tattoo. I'm gonna bring this out and show him and put it out while I'm. I'm trying to see. Yeah, what every time you go painting, you should put it on top no. of the box. Yeah, people are gonna get angry. I didn't. Uh, well, didn't you call me, uh, Captain Butterbeard. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh, finally, I thought you. This was You forgot fine, about I, me. I, this was purchased. Oh. Yeah. I true. love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me see. Okay, it's a Hot Wheels. Oh, meta. Yeah, it's yeah. a Hot Wheels Hot Wheel. That's totally crazy. And, uh, I, what I like is uh, it's called drivability. And if you put it on the ground and the wheels oh, still roll, fantastic. When oh, you yeah. pick it up, Hemi that's orange. good stuff. Yeah, that's like a oh, Hemi this is orange. Great. What yeah, one you got? Up there. Oh yeah, I, the orange. The orange ones are special. Yeah. I've got three orange cars. Do you know that when I was a kid, of course, yeah. Dukes of Hazard. So this is we orange. We all grew up too, with yeah. Dukes of Hazard. Oh, well, so my my family, my dad, he always knew, like, uh, automotive people. And so we had a Le Car. I don't know if you remember what that was. Le, Le Car, right? right? We the only, yeah, it, yeah, I don't know if it's French for, like, broken or something, yeah. but, <laughs> but the car, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah. we had... Uh, we had a Le Car. We were only ones in the neighborhood that mm-hmm. had a Le Car. And uh, the brakes would go. Sure. Le and, brakes. yeah, the yeah. Le, le, le brakes would go <laughs> yeah. um, all the time. And so there was an episode where Daisy Duke, her Jeep, and I can't remember the name of her Jeep. Was that metaphor? Went off okay. the cliff and it wrecked. And so, you know, I wrote this note. I don't know how old I was, maybe six or something. And I wrote this note to her saying... Hey, you can have my mom's Le Car. <laughs> and I put it in the mailbox. That's great. Of course, not in an envelope. I didn't yeah. address it to anyone. Yeah, I just yeah, wrote this little note, put it in the mailbox. It. My mom found it. Of course, she kept it. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, oh, we can yeah. get another car. Yeah. He, you know, <laughs> Daisy um, needs it. Daisy needs Imagine the if she Le showed car. up. Yeah. Oh, well, he's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Takes your car, drives it away. Yeah, <laughs> so this kind of yeah. reminds me. I don't yeah. think it is the It's Dukes. not the same thing. It's not the No, because it has, you got to have the racist stuff all over it. Oh, right, right. Wait, that's oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. right. I, I forgot about southern, that. Southern, yeah, we well, don't southern. know when you're like five. Yeah. Sure. Six. Six. Yeah. No, they, that's what they want you to not know. Exactly. That's indoctrinating it's all about. Yeah, get mm-hmm. them. In. So you love these. They're just good old boys, only yeah. killing a few people a day, you know, like, what? what? Yeah, no, that's not yeah. good. But, yeah, yeah, I got off on a tangent because I saw the Hemi Orange. It nice. kind of looked like... Yeah, the yeah, orange right. Hot Wheels are special. Yeah. I mean, I this has. I'm glad this has some orange. This has so when you go into this one, everything is orange. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like mm-hmm. this green mm-hmm. screen behind us there. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that's cool. Oh, I dig yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you. I'm I appreciate media. it. Look at this. I didn't know there it was Christmas. So, Had I known this was going to be Christmas, and I have a matchbox car. I, I, got, I got a little character. So, yes, so I'm nice. sending. Thank you. I'll send a. But I was so excited that. That for you guys I'll, to be. Yeah, on the show. I'll I send a picture it. of my studio. And I do appreciate you guys helping out. Oh yeah, no, no. Um, but I have a bunch of matchbox cars. Really? Tons of matchbox cars. Oh, nice. I have a few added to the collection. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, cool. I buried pleasure. all mine. When I go into the dollar store, I have to get a matchbox car. Nice. Wheels. Yeah, and that's what Butterbeard was talking about. I like this thing called that I call drivability with it, uh, or wheelability, where if like if you just throw it and it goes all the way across the floor just with a little push, that's when you know you've got a good hot wheel. You know, you go and they go. No, that's that's yeah, yeah. that's a special. Yeah, a, did you wreck? Did you have a car that you designated to like wreck, and that would be the one that had gotten into like an oh. accident? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was that. always the green one. Yeah, I was always like, yeah, I would always like, yeah, it would be smashed up. Right. It would be. Oh, and your that, parents again also. Why? Yeah, why do? But I, I lost mine early. I used to go over to the next door neighbor's house, who had a backyard full of pine needles, and then we'd make roads in the pine needles, you know, mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. But then they'd get all covered up in the pine needles, and I'd lose them all, and then mm-hmm. I'd find them in his collection, and he'd say they were his. Chaos. And, yeah. yeah, and so then I got into Star Wars figures, and it became a whole different matter. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And they were all designated to get destroyed at some point, you know. 
Oh, yeah, like you leave them under the porch. Oh, I'd nail nails yeah. through them. I'd throw them in the, them. I'd, the yeah. buckets that would get filled up with water in the oh, spring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tadpoles. Oh, sure. oh, tadpoles, yeah. slugs. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, um, no. I was playing at Matt Garufi's house, playing Star Wars figures, and the probe droid figure he had um, from Empire Strikes Back where you could remove the head and the body and all that, and he, he got angry at his dad for not bringing home a... A candy bar for him or something, you know, and he threw it out the window, and it went right out the window into the. And about like a few months later, I remember finding it by the bushes, and we, I brought it up because I loved the character, you know, and I brought it up, and I was playing with it, and I pulled the head off, and like twenty earwigs came <laughs> out of it, you know, it was like, it was like, Wah! it was like a pretty crazy situation. Yeah. <laughs> So, Greg, you're teaching some uh, classes uh, at Essex Art Center? Yes. That's, yeah, I teach yeah. night classes there, uh, beginning drawing, uh, acrylic glazing. I'm doing, a, currently I'm doing a uh, portfolio workshop okay. for uh, students in high school that are thinking of going to art college. Nice. Yep. It's uh-huh. fun. Awesome. And are uh, you working on anything... You're always doing something, right? In terms of yeah, I'm he, always. He, he paints painting. like two or three draw- paintings a day. It's, great. Yeah. it's like I look at Instagram. It's like, how do you do that? Do you work at what night? What is that? Um, night yeah, you know, <laughs> I work at all different. I usually yeah, work yeah. when I'm not supposed to be working. Like I actually yeah, yeah. work while I'm supposed to be working. That doesn't yeah, make yeah, sense. Do my best work. That doesn't make sense. Right. I, I do yeah. my art when yeah. I'm supposed to be doing other things. Right. So when the things, when the feeling comes, is it like a feeling base or, um, is, it, or is it sort of a schedule? Yeah, I mean, like, or both. Yeah, yeah, you feel like yeah, I, if it's a feeling base. Yeah. Like you yeah. get an idea, mm. um, and you just you want to yeah. get it down. Because when you have the idea, do you have to move with it? Like or do you, uh, you not shelve necessarily. It if I have the time to move with it, then yes. So if I'm driving the car and I get this idea, yeah, I kind of just you know, keep talking about it in my head. Yeah. And then yeah, when yeah. I get somewhere, um, I might not jot it down. It might be the next day. And you still can retain, yeah. Yeah, retain I think the essence of it. Because once you start, once you get that pencil and paper, mm-hmm. it, anything sort of comes up. Yeah. Right? Anything mm-hmm. sort of comes up. It's given birth. When you yeah, it's not like, right. When, when you come up with an idea of something, yeah. it's mm-hmm. like, you love it. Right. And it's like, oh, and it, and it takes up residence right. in your head right. somewhere. It doesn't so you leave. can go back to it for right. a while. I think yeah. it's a fallacy mm-hmm. where people say, Oh, I, I have this, you know, creative idea. I've got to get it down. Eh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't think that's necessary. Yeah. I think I, that there's a sort of a, like a. But here's but here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. If if you don't get it down, it gets bigger in your head. Okay. And giving birth to it is harder later because you've already mm. added all the details and you're right. like, oh, it has to be mm-hmm. this because I've already put all this stuff in it. You know. So, so it's maybe it's mm-hmm. because being trained as an illustrator. Yeah. I get this like creative idea. And then it's sort of, uh, you know, it's not ready to be born. It's like an embryo. Right, right, right. And so it has to sort of, you Uh, know, Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there are times where I'm just, you know, pencil to paper. Yeah. I have a bunch uh, of kids in my brain. And things happen. So, like, I don't necessarily have an idea. I'm just kind of, like, doodling. Yeah, yeah. And then something happens. Right. But I think you kind of, like, you know, you you go into this. And Brian probably understands. Like, you go into this. This place, like a trance, or well, no, not necessarily. But you go into yeah. this place. You have a foot in reality. You have a foot in a kind sure, of like straddling. dreamscape. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm I'm cool. completely conscious. I know exactly yeah. what I'm doing, um, the marks I'm making, why yeah. I'm making them. Yeah. It's not just like I, I'm I'm not knowing what I'm doing, and then all of a sudden this thing appears. Right, yeah. right. Uh, I think there's yeah. a lot of um, like stereotypes with artists, and mm-hmm. I think that sometimes people, you know. Um, go toward the stereotype, go toward the archetype in this, you know, especially with Hollywood and things, you know, mm-hmm. artists are always crazy yeah. or um, yeah. just They're not know, always, but sometimes they are. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. Mm. I control like my, my, craziness. My, mm. Yeah, because I, yeah. I work a little differently than you do. Right, of course. I, yeah. Everybody does. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and, and I am like, like for ideas, yeah. I'm like Octomom. I have like, like, 800 like unbirthed yeah. things in my head that yeah. are gr- that have taken up a lot of space. Yeah. But mm-hmm. when I come to the page, sometimes I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I just have to like move around and see and use the tools to bring up something. That's, that's the same. New. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with me. Tons of ideas in there. I mean, mm-hmm. imagine, you know, your, you know, you, it's like you, you going on to vacation, all these places, you're taking travel, you're right, traveling. And then you have to, you know, you're telling someone you can't, you don't have two weeks. 
to talk to someone about like everything you've seen, right? So there's all the stuff, you know, um, what do I talk about? What do I dress? And so you sort of pick one thing and then you, you know, um, exaggerate it. Right. Or, uh, but yeah, I think that there's, there's tons of ideas. Yeah. And then you do, you have that sort of like analysis paralysis yeah. you know, on the page. And I, and I think the, mm. my, my mm -hmm. problem that I have is that I am addicted to the ocean. And and the and the idea of of the the birthing process, okay. like that's where I like love to be. Once it's it's come about, I have fun with it for a while, and then I go okay. But I want I want something new every single time. Like I love that. I love yeah, that. So like I'm I'm infatuated with where does this idea come from? I didn't I didn't come up with this. You know, it's like a, like a light bulb isn't isn't the light. The light comes into the light bulb somehow from somewhere, but where does it come from, and what, and why, and why did this amazing thought just come into my head? And it's there, and how do I get it? So like, how say, does that happen? There's another amazing thought. When you say ocean, like ocean of creativity, like a, yeah, like the subconscious. That, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Oh, right, yeah. You know um, that yep, that I'm place where that. everything okay. comes from. That I mean, yeah. you can't you can't really be an artist. I feel without dipping your feet in it. Yes. If you're just <laughs> copying things, right. you can say you're an artist, yeah. but if you're just copying, I think you have to disappear for a bit. Do you think yeah. that it's a language that you speak fluently so you can tell, like, like you know, if you're from, uh, say, Newburyport, yeah. or you're from, uh, you know, Plymouth, right? Yeah. You can tell if someone may be from the North Shore or South Shore if you've lived there. Oh, sure. And do you think that exactly. as an artist, really you good. speak that language fluently, you can tell if they, this other person that you know says they're an artist or whatever, or you're looking at someone's art. faking the funk? Yeah, you can, they, they don't speak the, the language funk. fluently. Yeah, well, I th you know what? It, it's, for me, I think it's that, they, that if they do know it, they don't trust themselves. Okay. And, you know what I mean? Because like, you know, to get into art, to, to actually let yourself go and say you're an artist, I mean, maybe it's different these days with Instagram and all that stuff. I think people, people just, they, they create stuff just for Instagram, I think is problematic yeah. because they're not, they're only doing it for likes. It's already yeah. tainted before it, it uh, you know, it hits yeah. mm. the paper. Yeah, um, yeah. interesting. And I, and I only mm. do it for me. And, and that's, that's the problem. Yeah. I do the it for me and because, for money. Yeah, well, that's good, and that's <laughs> yeah. and like totally, man. That's why I totally appreciate mm. your your stuff because I can see. I was just looking at one of your pieces the other day of of some little owl creature near the window, Damn. and I was so caught up with the window right. and the light on the on the curtain, man. You got that down. The window was just like it was perfect. Like the, the, the light coming through the window was just perfect, mm. and that kind of stuff. I mean, you're doing it for yourself. That right. kind of stuff, because that stuff is going to get missed by somebody. That's the most important thing in that painting. Well, obviously, right? I can tell. Not I the know, yeah. not the the creature coming. But when through, you look at it, mm -hmm. yeah. But well, it's, I look at it, yeah, because yeah. conceptually it's kind of boring. But but but, but no, I'm only Kemaly Kim. I'm messing with you. Yeah, no. Uh, but no, it's actually really cool because it reminds me of stuff I like to do. Because you're doing all those uh, the cryptoid cryptid stuff, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is really hip. Uh, but you do like nine a day, which I don't understand. I don't get wow. that. Wow. Yeah. And he can do it. He so does it. And he, and he, and he, his illustration is just really yeah. beautiful. But sometimes like, I already have those. I heard they're already drawn. Sometimes I just go through piles of stuff. Oh, like, like Stephen King. Oh, okay. I go through piles. That's yeah, good. Yeah. That's good because except it's without you. the bender. It's it's better to yeah. steal from yourself than to than, than, than to take from someone else when you already got your stuff right there. Yeah. Because stuff that you. was unfinished, stuff that was drawn on a napkin, stuff that was drawn on you keep the back of a receipt yeah, yeah. or whatever, mm -hmm. and I I flip through because sometimes I'm like, let's go revisit an old idea. Yeah. You know, that's good. Um, and I bring it. I to can't wait for that phase of my life where I revisit my old ideas because, like, all I have is old ideas. I haven't done anything new. You know what I mean? Like, this is the only old ideas, and I'll just be like, okay, here, I've got a backlog. I can make something with it. You but know? that is. But then you are bringing it into something new. Yeah, when it happens. When right. it happens. Right. Yeah, I'm just like I'm not. I, it's like yeah, I, sometimes I, I'm, I'm. I'm all about just keep making new things and just throw them into the back burner. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm emotionally tired, physically yeah. tired, yeah. and sure. you know, it, the, the whole <laughs> idea of. Uh, you know, sitting down and creating something new, yeah. I feel yeah, yeah. like, what does that even mean? I don't right. even know if yeah, there's yeah, anything yeah. New. Yeah. What is new. new. There's yeah, like well. new takes on old ideas. There's, yeah. um, Synthesizing, you know, twists. Man. Right. Synthesizing so sometimes I'm just way. like, I want to so, do something. 
and I feel like I've got a bunch of stuff that can mm -hmm. be reworked or, mm -hmm. um, you know, I thought like, yeah. oh, this is really interesting and then it gets changed. Yeah, I'm reading yeah. it, the new Stephen King yep. uh, and one of the great stories in his new book, it's a short stories, is called something like Rattlesnakes, but the character is, it's, it's basically a sequel to Cujo. And the right. thing, and and I uh -huh. think it's one of his stories that he had in the back burner that he started yeah, to yeah, 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 re-update. Yeah. Sure, sure, and I sure, love yeah. that, like the dome. Yeah, when yeah. Did I, the love, dome. I love yeah. that yeah. stuff. That's yeah. when he's really good. When he's like, okay, rather than trying to think up something totally new, right. I have some old things that sure. didn't quite work then, but now they sure. can work. They just weren't. Yeah, yeah. 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 because like now I characters now I in the background, them. their storylines. Yeah. I mean, there's 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 a plethora of any yeah. <laughs> of, of uh, stuff that you've done that, that are you know things that are in the background you know what else like that you know that creature coming into that room what else I, what else is in that room what else is happening that we can't see out of view mm -hmm. right or mm -hmm. or in the room underneath or outside yeah. that you can't see that's so, why you shut the curtains so you can't see that stuff do you know the so, uh, are you talking about physically or like in your no physically brain? you shut yeah, the curtains I don't want in your brain looking in my windows thank you <laughs> they're not going to know what's going on the uh, so, what? Uh, just to segue a little bit here, like what is art? I know we briefly talked about it oh, before the show. Oh, I mean it's math. <laughs> that that's just like a. <coughs> let I me, mean, I mean, art's let me tell you uh, magic. Uh, art's, art's, yeah, art's yeah. an agree an agreement. I would imagine or an agreement with who? Sorry. Like an agreement. I mean, with like what? Except I don't know. Uh, like what is it? You know, an what's agreement. accepted art uh, or like I think okay. What, what's accepted like an accepted novel like. In terms of like a, a novel that gets published or unpublished, right? I, don't know, I think it's I think it's more personal. Well, okay, so uh, well, illustration in general, like illustration, I wouldn't like. Yeah, that's an agreement with like a client, and I yeah, would yeah, say yeah. that it's definitely it's and, uh, you yeah. know you're an artist and it's it's yeah. an art form, but I wouldn't necessarily call it fine art. You mm -hmm. know, and so when I'm doing something that has no client at all, if you want to talk about agreement, I think it's an agreement. With your yeah. with, with yourself, yourself. right? Yeah. I don't, yeah. Thank I don't, you for the clarification. Yeah, I think it's an agreement yeah. with yourself yeah. Yeah. because yeah. even if yeah. you you know put something down a mark um, and you're you're taking a risk, you have to address that, right? Mm -hmm. um, you can't just swipe it away. And so I think it's a um, like it's a, an agreement or a conversation. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that yeah. you try to control in, in some yeah. respects. I, th I think I think mm -hmm. art is manifesting the inevitable. That there, there's something inside you that has no form, but is a feeling, and that and that and that you it is up your inter your way to make it manifest in this world of form somehow, by some means by whether it means a pencil or paint or music or or, or poetry or you know writing or something you take something from nowhere. And make it somewhere. Yeah, mm. make it physical. Yeah, make it physical. Yep. And and the, and the and That's art the magic, is yeah. the the finesse that you use to make that happen. Mm. You know, and there's so many ways about it. Whether you're a blues musician without any training, or you're a classical you know violinist who you know mm. who just does exactly the notes on the page. That's there. That you know, and that can get into you know art. You you are bringing a, a, a classical violinist is bringing the tone out. They have worked hard to find that beautiful tone inside them, so that when they play that note, the tone comes forth. Uh, you, you, mm. even though you're playing other people's notes, though that artist is an artist because they're using that. And, and you can, you can, you know, it can get all caught up in what, what, who an artist is, but intent. I think is the most important thing. And if you are intend, if your intent is true and you're actually putting forth all that life essence in you to make that in truth, then you are an artist. Sure. And absolutely. and 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 no one can tell you otherwise yeah. Yeah, because absolutely. you know when you fall short because you're trying. You're not faking the funk. You're and I think that people the that yeah. aren't artists are always the ones to define it. Mm. It can be. It can be. Yeah. And so oh, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. It's a. Yeah. It's kind of a slippery slope. I don't. It, yeah, I have it, many a time yeah. way of defining crap, it. Though. But More like Brian enough. said, you know, I think that it's this. Um, it's this uh, non-linear language that you speak fluently. So, mm. I, I think that when you speak that language fluently, you can even if it's a poet or a musician, you can kind of you you you're feeling that same emotional um, uh, connection, and you're like, oh, there. That's from the same. 
the same place mm-hmm. that you know that that stream of consciousness or something yeah. right mm-hmm. uh, you can feel it and you can feel it and here we go here's, 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 someone here's, mentioned poetry you, you gotta get I got a poet I got a poem I got a poem let me say a poem it's just a short poem okay I'm a poet okay go okay. ahead this is a poem I wrote it's called poetry okay <clears throat> poetry schmoetry thank you that's deep wow. yep yeah, that's profound that's it that's yeah. it thank you thank you, yep. thank you. Thank you, Butterbeard. Hey, you're welcome. Get off my hand. <laughs> Does Chavez have anything to say? There? <laughs> he doesn't know. He's stoic. Yeah, yeah he's just, yeah. he's not. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's keeping it's it all inside. He's, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's yeah. thinking about revolution. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Got bigger things to I'm think about. Touch him up a little bit. I think he's yeah, definitely he, seen better days. Yeah, he needs to be buffed. Somebody right? threw him up. Yeah, 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 little, yeah. Get yeah. A little, little paint on him there. Yeah, that yeah. Communist red. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, um, I did, before, before uh, I want to make sure that people know how to get in contact with you. Oh, so, no. No, right? no, no, no. You, you have to go, so, so you have to go through a middle, you have to go me. through a middle person. A middle person. Oh, okay. Okay. You. okay. Yes, there's a, uh, you have to send a letter, what I'll, is it, like to a P.O. box, right? Yeah. And then there's a person <laughs> that collects it from a P.O. box. Right. Is it a person, though? We don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I right. do, but I won't reveal. Yeah. And then that person... Yeah, takes um, it to the friend who takes it to Stan. Yeah, Stan, yeah that's yeah, the golden yeah. end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. the plan. Right. <laughs> and, there, and there you go. And you right. eventually yeah, get, yeah. you know, the, well, you know, you'll get in touch enough. with him. Yeah. No, yeah. I... Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, let me see. <laughs> I mean, I... I, I Hot, you know what balloon like a yeah, messages, let me put up, like I'll, I'll put up a, like yeah, an yeah, email message. address or something. Okay, like yeah, we can, can yeah, we can, we can. I'm trying to think of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. should I give my Yahoo one up? You know, <laughs> that's like that already has and things yeah. would get lost. My but, Google or my right. Noble Cause, Net because you have a a band right. You're you're a saxophone player. You know, uh, you've been in the um, Lost Search Party, the Found Object. Yeah, I've you've done weddings so many before. Different I've done weddings you, before. You're great. That that's always a fun. Probably the highlight of my uh, music yeah, let's, career. Yeah, yeah. And you've been yeah. MC. MC yep, MC uh, for and, many different types and, of things. I play with my friend uh, Jeff Savlon. Uh, oh, he's a yeah. great musician mm-hmm. out in New York, mm-hmm. um, and we we play a lot together. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I do artwork, yep. drawing, I write things. I'm going to be reading stories at uh, the uh, Salem Night Fair this year, again, okay. uh, the second mm-hmm. year in a row. I go out and, uh, if you don't know anything about the Salem Night Fair in Salem, it's down by the Pioneer Village. It's done by um, the Black Cauldron. Uh, I'm going to say I'm getting this right. It's a tattoo place by the the, the Murray Black, brothers. Black ink. No. Black ink Black, is Black it? Ink maybe. Black ink. Maybe I it might be so. Black ink. Yeah, yeah. Black ink. Uh, man, great artists in their own right. Uh, awesome dudes. But they get me reading, and I go out there yeah. and I read like Lovecraft stories, and the nice. setting is like superb. When is it? Yeah, yeah. This is next weekend and the weekend after. Friday, Saturday, and the Friday, Saturday after that. So that's. Uh, halfway through October, if you're getting this, you I don't to buy know. Tickets. You to buy uh, tickets? No, you can show up, and it's cost ten bucks to get in, okay. and the line is like pretty it, long, but it's worth it. They got all these vendors can selling you get weird me stuff. To the front of the line. What? Can you get me to the front? Of the I can. Line? I can. Can, do I, that. can I be a plus one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can do that okay. for you. This man. is black. Because I have a thing about black, black ink. Yeah, black ink. Black ink. Okay. And they have two different oh. places: one on yeah. Essex Street and one oh, on okay. Boston Street. Really? Yeah, huh. and they're great. They're really great. I mean, just like truly, the dudes—they're twins. Yeah. They look really? exactly alike. They uh. they draw incredibly detailed black ink, you know, gothic tattoos, and it's funny yeah. because like they're they're sweethearts. They're yeah. the most wonderful, like, people. Mm-hmm. And, like, and they're all surrounded by these, like, goth kids, you know, that are like, and they won't look at you, you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. them, they're just like, hey, what's up, you know. Fun. And, Fun yeah, it's, it's a great, it's a great cool. situation. I love, I love that. I love working with them. Yeah. Uh, so I do that. Uh, I work at the library, which is a lot of fun. Salem yeah, Public Library. Yep, Salem yeah. Public Library. Yeah. And, that's how I'm, you know. And, and I but, Butterbeard is part of the... Yep, was, but if, yep or, and you can look is, on the yep. Salem Public Library's website, and they have all the backlogs of Miss Mary... Uh, videos during COVID lockdown, um, librarians have to do uh, different programs for people and kids. Mm-hmm. And during lockdown, because yeah. there's a uh, a board of trustees, they won't s- let you stop working. So they have to make sure that they ma- make enough money off of you while you're <laughs> doing that. So Mary had to do these cool. anyway, and so we did uh, our own little shows. Yeah. 
Yeah. And great. and Mary yeah. came up with these amazing yeah. stories, Mary's and we talked them through. And Captain yeah. Butterbeard was there. That was fun. And did it. I watched. Yeah. I watched a clip. Yeah, I wish I was awesome. part of it, but it Captain, like, you know, he was the captain. Took over. Captain took over. Oh, well, that's what ones. captains do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, my you can go through my website, which is okay. just my name. Greg and Orfanos. Greg Orfanos. Yeah. Uh -huh. Orfanos dot com. Mm -hmm. Uh, just you keep on saying that. this just my name thing. Just yeah. like you, you get a little. You know, yeah, I'm, just, I'm so, sensing yeah, some like bur, animosity. Yeah. <laughs> so you get like your just my name. I don't have any like all these cool like aliases. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So you, I, maybe could you could give me hire, hire, I'll, I'll hire give you for like a specific work, right? Yeah, like, some yeah. right. So um, they usually go through my website unless I've worked with them before, and then okay. they will just. Uh, someone texted me the other day. Um, I, I had no idea who it was, and they had mentioned something about, "Hey, yeah, let's go through with it. Nah. Um, we're gonna, it's good." And I'm like, "Who is this person? Like, like who is this?" I'm ago. going through. Yeah, staying. I'm like, "Could it have been someone that texted me and I just didn't put them in my phone? I have no idea." Yeah, it was someone I worked with ten years ago, oh. and I have no idea how they got my number at all. Wow. Uh, but uh, so that was interesting. So, is are you going to work with them? Email. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, um, awesome. Yep. Uh, That's great. E uh, so usually they go through my website if yeah. we haven't gotten contact, because um, that's like the only way mm -hmm. to. I mean, obviously no one's going to know your email, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it usually yeah. goes through that way. And you have work for sale on on the site as well, or work or, for sale on like, my site? Yeah. No. No. Okay. <laughs> I do not have work for sale. Okay. Um, people have contacted me, so people yeah. will see my stuff, and they will contact me for like a commission or something. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so that's, yeah, that's I've been told. I, you know, okay. I've been told. Is it because you like, go on and people yeah. can click on it, and yeah. there's the price? And yeah. is and it because you love your art so much you just do it for yourself? Well, and then if they want if something, an, it can be yeah, like. Yeah, I guess this, like if mine. it's an illustration, yeah, that's something specific. Okay. If it's something that I'm doing, so I'm obviously narrative based, right? And I think there's a difference between you know uh, narrative and illustration. Like, of course, illustration is narr narrative storytelling, but fine art can be narrative as well. Illustration, you have a client, right? So you're, you know, all the illustrations I've done, I wouldn't have just done them. The only reason they exist is because someone had hired me to do so. Now I'm still using my artistic, you know, my understanding uh, of art, uh, yeah. but I'm working with a client, right? Mm -hmm. So it's collaborative, um, and you have to meet your client's needs. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that work is any less than m the my sort of fine art, mm -hmm. but it's different. And yeah. so, uh, the work that I'm doing uh, that's that's not client based, it's not illustration. Yeah, I don't have any desire to sell prints right. of it. Yeah. Um, but you know, but you're I get definitely these great giving ideas. a clue into what you can do. That's what. Well, it is. yeah. I mean, that's so to... so illustrators, they do. Um, you know, they do sort of sell promotional work to get their to get jobs, right? And that work is to showcase how they story tell, right? And, it, and however, you know, through mood, um, shape language, um, shape you know, language. color, whatever, to showcase, hey, look, this is this is what I do as an illustrator. This is how I story tell, uh, and yeah. So if that makes yeah. sense, yeah, right? Yeah. But mm. but uh, there are a lot of fine artists that are still narrative. So I don't think right. you know people think like oh. You well, know, you do narrative work, it must be illustration. We're humans. We tell stories. Exactly. We and, tell stories. And I right. think I think every creature tells stories. I mean, I got a cat, and the cat like tells wakes stories. up every day and has routines and does that. And his story mm -hmm. is something totally different from <laughs> what I could ever comprehend. But it's still, mm -hmm. like, in order to survive in the world, you have to put yourself into place and you have to tell yourself a story like this is happening can or, storytelling, you can, or you can buy into religion and they'll give you the story can storytelling be survival like what do you mean can it be a means of survival I think Having that's it, it I think survival. that's it because like mm -hmm. we live in a culture where you can unalive yourself and people do it all the time because they don't have they don't have the story right you know mm -hmm. they think in, they're thinking they're not writing their story correctly or their story goes beyond their you know their, their what they're what they're dealing with here you know i don't know but i think that 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 that, that everything you got to have a story to it you got to have a, some sort of things don't just i mean 
and that's where I'm fascinated, like where things pop out of. Like I can, I can, if I make a piece of art, I can look into that art and be like, oh, look where that came from. I wasn't even thinking of that, but that relates to this. This relates to that. That's and and I love and some that. Some visual subject matter doesn't even mean what the subject matter is. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. You know. Right. Other people will place meaning in it, but the meaning could be in you know something else. Could be in a color. It could be in a, some mark making. It's funny if going back to, to the, the, the Stephen matter. King thing. His later no. stories are, are like that. Uh, mm. Oh, well, you know what? You can get... Uh, well, either well, way. Uh, yeah, the, the Stephen King thing. He, his writing now has pulled himself back from the story. So that, like, when you're seeing his story, it's like, oh, this is kind of lame, kind of cheap, kind of silly. But then he leaves you with something that's like, wait a second, I wasn't even ready. Oh, yeah. the reason for this story oh, is like, something in uh, the background. It's like a frosting here. fist. Like well, frosting fist. I was going to say that. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we're going to continue the story, guys. Um, we'll have to uh, have you have it on again. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, it'd be fun. Let's, yeah. let's, let's have it later on in the, in the fun morning time. rather than nine o'clock in the morning. The, uh, <laughs> I'm an artist, the, uh, you know. I work on artist time. The, the uh, I like to kind of catch that coffee, that coffee vibe. Yeah, you know, coffee. I wish yeah, it was. You know, I'm I drinking Red Bull coffee. here. When we uh, yeah, reconvene, I, we'll. Uh, I Most likely do be da hands. downtown, and we can okay. uh, grab grab a coffee. That would be great. There you go. And uh, have uh, Delphine's has the best coffee. Really? Yep. Yeah, Delphine's uh, is my great, house has the place. best. Oh coffee. well, you are. Yeah, I'm seeing if you yeah. have to go out. Oh, okay. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. I hear you. Thanks a million, guys. Yeah. Hey. Dean, you're awesome. Uh, love seeing you. Yep. And, hey, uh, Beverly. Thank you, Bev Cam, uh, Chris, and um, yeah. This is the sharing wheel, and um, we'll see you soon. All right. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>